Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to set up the Virtuoso SG400 as a network printer on your Macintosh. You're going to need two files to do this. We're going to need the ICC profile. We're also going to need the driver. The ICC profile will email to you from support, so if you don't have that file, just send us an email to support at condi.com requesting the profile. Um, the driver will download directly from our website. Uh, they're not on our website yet, but I'll show you if you go to condi.com, you'll have to log into PartnerNet to download any, any files, but you'll go into printer support and there'll be an option for sawgrass printers. Once you go into that, you'll see the model printer you're looking for and then you go into Printer Drivers Mac. Download the file. Once you have the file downloaded, the first thing we want to do is copy the profile into the appropriate folder. So you just right click on the folder and select copy. Once you've done that, just click on the desktop and click on Go, Go to Folder, type in a single forward slash and hit Go. From here, you're going to Library, Color Sync, and then Profiles. At this point, you just click on Edit and Paste Item. Now, I already have the profiles in this folder, so it's asking if I want to keep them both, replace, whatnot. I'm going to just go ahead and select Replace and it's going to ask for my password, I'll hit OK. Once you do that, you'll see the profile shows up inside the folder. Now sometimes inside this Profiles folder, you'll see a shortcut to a Profiles. If you see this, you want to go into that folder and paste the item in here as well. Um, once you have the profile installed, we're ready to configure our software. We're going to open Elements. Now, first we need to install a driver. See, even I get ahead of myself sometimes. Um, next thing we want to do, we're going to go to Apple, we'll go to System Preferences, Printers and Scanners. Now I already have the printer installed, so I'm going to remove it so you can see it install. We're going to click on Add. I'm going to go to IP. I'm going to make sure the protocol is set to LPD. And I'm going to type in the address that we have on the printer. Uh, in this instance, we have the address the printer program to 192.168.1.216. So we just type in that address. You're going to make sure this is set to the SG400. And hit OK. And then we're going to hit Add. Now it looks like it's getting bound up because it can't find it on the network. The printer is not currently connected, so I'm just going to hit skip. And then you will see it shows up as an address. From here I'm going to click on Options and Supplies, and I'm just going to name it whatever I want to call it. I'm going to call it the Sawgrass SG400 and hit OK. Now you'll see it shows up just as I've named it in the list. Now we're ready to configure the driver and the graphics software. So we're going to open our graphics software. We're going to open a new blank document. And we're going to go straight to the driver, the print settings, print dialog. So I'll do file and print. I'm going to make sure my printer is set to the Sawgrass SG400. Uh, I'm going to go under More Options, Color Management, and I want to make sure that I've got Color Handling set to let Photoshop Elements manage colors. The printer profile needs to be the SG400 die trans high quality and rendering intent perceptual. Once I have that set, I'll hit OK. Now in Elements, I'm going to hit Print, and it will take me to a second print screen print warning is coming up because it's there's no image so it's not seeing that it's greater than 220 dpi I'm just going to ignore that all right once we're here in the bottom right we're going to go ahead and check flip horizontal I'm going to click out layout and set it to setup I'm going to change the paper type to inkjet plain paper high quality click on the arrow next to image adjustments 
set dithering to use air diffusion. And once I have these set, I'm going to save the preset. Uh, I'm going to click on the pull down and select save current settings as preset. And I'm going to name this Condi ICC. And hit OK. Once you've done that, you'll now see that Condi ICC is an option in the pull down. At that point, you're ready to hit print. Now, since I'm not actually printing anything, I'm just going to cancel out. But from here, you would just print your, you do file and print. When you hit print, make sure you have Condi ICC on the second page, and you're ready to go. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have at Condi, please give us a call to 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for tech support, or you can send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.